Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of The Three Schooners where we're going to be discussing social media and everything about it. We watched The Social Dilemma, the documentary that's currently on Netflix about how it affects our lives and how data is stored and things like that. I would like to apologise in advance. I had moved my mic set up around a little bit and I had accidentally turned my mic the wrong way around so I do not sound great at all and I'm really sorry about that. Other than that, the episode is fantastic. Give it a good listen and enjoy the show. Rapidly. Get on the beers. That's your civic duty. That's what's most important. And that's what must be done. Beers. 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 Get on the beers. 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 And that's what must be done. Hello, my name is Isaac and welcome to another episode of The Three Scooters. I already said my name, but you guys go ahead. <laughs> and I am David and this is the first time I've said my name. <laughs> Uh, my name is. What's my name? <laughs> <laughs> my name's JJ. <laughs> my name's JJ, and uh, yeah, we're we're here to to talk to you for another amount of time that is undetermined as of yet about things that we have seen and heard and done. So it's been a bloody yarn, mate. <laughs> that was my own Jeez. accident. Is that I'm racist? Horrible. I'm pretty sure it's racist. Is that is racist? It? Nah. Nah, it's not that. It's a bloody arm, mate. <laughs> I speak for all Australians. Just, just, because, just because we can do something doesn't mean we should, Dave. I mean, <laughs> we've said some pretty outrageous things on this podcast before, so... We, we, we have, and that's why I edit it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Isaac, what beer have you got this week, mate? Oh, oh. <laughs> I haven't really changed, though. I've got another Aldi special. <laughs> <laughs> John Brick. It's the same case. It just never ends. Just still looking for that, uh, that sponsorship, Aldi. Still looking for oh, it. Aldi. Yeah. Aldi Australia, yeah. come at me. Or if any sand company wants to sponsor us, because it's like a dry beer. It's like wet and sand. <laughs> oh, Gee, what about you, Dave? Is... Dave, what have I, you got? I am very, very excited, boys. Very excited um i tonight went for this is a bit of promotion i went for uh, a 20 dollar takeaway roast from our good friends over at saint luja oh. james murphy and luke over there who uh who owns saint luja saint luja for those who don't know is a little cocktail bar uh luke is australian james is irish james and luke are geniuses they're pretty much mixologists they do great cocktails but they also do amazing food. So I went down there and he's listened to the podcast, boys. He's listened to it. He loves oh, really? it. He wants to come on one the, these days. I come Absolutely. down, went to get the uh, the beer, uh, the, the takeaway roast. He was like, I'll give you some beers for your podcast because I know you do a bit about beers. Oh, so wow. he, didn't get, yeah. he didn't give me one beer, boys. He gave me four oh. beers. Oh, right. good beers yeah. too. Passion fruit they, smash. Get in the Stomping ground. Yeah. Now, so I'll do a quick blurb on these. I said, what order do you drink them in? And I did this little number <laughs> system on the bottom. <laughs> so uh, he said, go for the Paradise Pilsner first. Now, shit, I did write down notes on this and I've forgotten them already. But uh, this one here... This one here was interesting. The Wolf of the Willows XBA. Now, these boys uh, originally did it in Cheltenham. The brewery was in Cheltenham, and it was known as a gypsy brewery, which I've never heard of. And they shared that with Brewdog, which is a famous uh, yep. brewery in Australia. Now, gypsy brewery is when you, you brew in someone else's brewery. That's known wait, as gypsy bre- brewing. Wait, is Brewdog Australian? Uh, no, Brewdog thought, is uh, the Scottish. Yeah, I thought, I thought you said yeah. Brewdog was Australian there. Uh, n- uh, n- did I? Uh, maybe I did. Maybe <laughs> I'm, I didn't. Like, I'm pretty sure those guys are from Scotland. No, they're from Scotland, yeah. I got that wrong <laughs> if I said that. But anyway, they did it in their brewery. And oh, yeah, really? so, um, but that's beer three. So I've got to go uh, three. I and highly stop. recommend that's- See Stop that? The passion fruit smash? Yeah. yeah. Oh my the God. Ground. How do you stand yeah. well, there? I, think, really I, think, you should, really I think you should introduce each one as you get to it throughout the podcast. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for uh, the Paradise Pilsner, which is uh, made by... I just like how it says Paradise Pills. Blue and yellow Paradise Pills. <laughs> uh, and I've got a little glass for it as well. Here you go. little uh, Stella Artois oh. glass, which, by the way, I stole from base back in the day. You didn't steal. You, uh, you acquired for uh, two work tended. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, what are you, JJ? What are you drinking today? Ah, uh, well. Now you boys know because I told you yesterday that the whole state of Victoria has got no desperados left in it. The reason that they've got no desperados left in it is because I personally bought the last four bottles. That's <laughs> all that's left. <laughs> I drank two of them last night and I regretted it because um, I'm now worried that going forward, I have this one and one other one in my fridge. And what happens in the next podcast? If well, I decide the, honestly, gonna... the next week could be the one where you don't have desperados. And that means we have to quit. We have to stop the podcast. <laughs> Just have to hang up the towel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for your support. It's been a great <laughs> run. JJ hasn't got desperados, so we're calling it quits so, here. Thank you. Yeah, I've got my desperados t-shirt on today that uh, Dave was so kindly bought me. Um, on, I, uh, today, I, today I bought a t-shirt um, this, that says, um, what does it say? It doesn't, I can't remember. It's a Dan Andrews. It's a Dan that Andrews. Was a really, that was a really great story. Let's Thanks. tell that one again. No, no, no. I remember, I remember it now. So it's oh, a Dan again. Andrews t shirt um, of him surfing, but it says Dan Andrews and it says get on the beers, but he's riding a wave, but it's not the first wave, it's the second wave. That's, that's, super, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. I like that. I bought Dan, that, that Desperado t shirt. Do you remember the story about that? Because I got that for your birthday and then you were like, yeah, the other T-shirt you got me was a bit weird. I was like, what T-shirt? I only got you the one T-shirt. He was like, you're you not getting me two T-shirts. I was like, yeah. no, I got you one. And, uh, Have you ever found out what that was about? Uh, no. No. Do you, you want to explain it? Do you want to explain it? Uh, yeah, just, I just, he bought me this Desperados T-shirt and I was like, wow. And then there was a second one that was, um, you know, Blinky Bear? Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the little koala. There was a second one with Blinky Bear holding a beer. And I was like, why? <laughs> well, it was just in the same packet. Yeah, yeah, just the same packet. And I was like, why has he bought me this as well? I don't get the relevant. What's, I get the Desperados one. Why has he got the second one? And I said to him, oh, thanks for the T-shirts. And he went, what? And I went, yeah, yeah, Desperados one and the, the Koala one. And he went, no, nah, man, I, I, I didn't buy you that. <laughs> so someone's messed up and I have it now. So yeah, it's my you rock around with a Koala T-shirt. It's a Koala t Anyway, anyway, I think we should cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, so we, we have not opened it yet. Um, cheers. My strong hand. Uh, okay. no. There you go. <laughs> no, I can I can do that with my pinky. That's how strong that hand is. Uh, <laughs> looking like oh, a it's collection. Good. Oh, I've got it's a good. collection of oh. desperate. Oh, mine tastes like sand still. <laughs> the yeah, sand mine... taste hasn't gone. <laughs> mine, so wanna... t- mine tastes like at the first end of days before the dawn of written history, giant totems were erected to ward off impendum Kauji attack. This vast monument only served as beacon to the beach. That's not what it tastes like. <laughs> um, I was get away from, beer. <laughs> from your amazing description of beer and what it doesn't taste like, Dave. Um, shall we start talking about what we're actually going to talk about this week? Absolutely. Yeah. I think, I think it, it, it kind of links with the colour of that can, Dave, because that's yellow and a very popular social media platform is oh, yeah. Snapchat. And I don't, I don't <laughs> use it anymore. I don't use it anymore. No. Do you Got remember when they, they, here. They, they made, they made the, the map feature and you could see where people were? That was yeah, super that was creepy. creepy. That was creepy as fuck. I used to love it. It was so fucked. We, we, caught, we caught a couple of uh, shout out to... <laughs> Andy Irvin and Ilsa um, who broke up but um, we're still getting together <laughs> and, we, and we found them on Snapchat they're now engaged it's fine but <laughs> well, so that, I've, go. I've heard I've heard of these stories before when multiple people have been caught out cheating yeah because of Snapchat maps yep. it's yeah, kind of great but yeah. yes like you were saying yellow Snapchat we are indeed talking about a very big thing in our lives, in everyone's life. In today's world, we are talking about social media. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. would you class a podcast as social media? No. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's, that's this is already great. But okay. I, by definition, social media has to, I think, have to have a give and a take, right? And mm-hmm. because there's no comments on podcasts, technically. No, no platform really has like a comment section. Well, I've been told to I've been told to sort my mic out numerous times and told <laughs> told by people I sound that, like that's, shit. That's through Instagram and Facebook and actual social media platforms. 
But I, I, no, I disagree. I disagree. Well, they tell me in person, you're like, it's, it's right fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's better this week. A distributor, or distri- distributor, whatever the way you want to say it, they've got a comment section. Technically, that counts. Yeah, but end users don't really see that, do they? Yeah, like they on Spotify. If, if, if they were to subscribe to us on Podbean, then Podbean's then Podbean's the social media. Yeah, that's that's the way I dictate it. I think there needs to be a back and forth social interaction of some description. If it's one sided, then that's just TV, right? That's just TV. It's radio. It's podcast. Whatever. It's when you have that feedback, but two ways, like a two way radio. Yep. What about when people on TV ask you to write in? Surely that's commenting. I mean. <laughs> that's feedback I, w- I don't know if I'd consider it a social media I mean yeah, nah. yeah. social media w- would be uh, a platform to share I'm bullshitting this now uh, to share <laughs> your thoughts and opinions where they can be interpreted and returned back to you in real capital letters of hate <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, like dictionary definition. It has to have a like button. There you go. <laughs> so Google's saying that a social media is any digital tool that allows users to quickly create and share content with the public. Now, are you Googling this? Does this, well, we have all just sat and watched The Social Dilemma. Yes, on, yes. On well, I, yes, yes, yes. And we know now that Google will return different suggestions to pick. No, this is this is because I there's a part in the social dilemma where they say depending on where you live or what your your personal preferences are, when you type into Google, for their example is climate change is, and yep. then you get suggestions underneath it, those suggestions will all be different. What they didn't the way that I perceived that when I seen the clip, because that's like the advert for the for the 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 documentary. The way I perceived that was, whoa, so if I search something, it's going to come up something different from someone else. And that is not the case. Because i done this with Yasmin and her suggestions when she typed it in were different to mine. But when we searched, the results were the exact same. And that's what's important. People are still getting the same information. Oh, that's not entirely true. Well, that's what we got. Right, I let's do a test it. right now. Let's do it. Okay, okay, let's do it. Right, what, what's what's right? a phrase? A phrase that's uh, somewhat unique. The free schooners are no. sexy. No, no, no. 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 Um, uh, um, Dave face- Moore oh. has great <laughs> hair. <laughs> no, he said grey hair. That's what you said. No, um, grey. Um, what's that? What's a what's a thing we can type in, guys? Who is Danny Larue? I don't know who it's, that is. I don't, well, I don't even know how to spell that. It's um, why. Well, uh, which what about, political what about, party is correct? Which, which, right. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Like, let's, let's make this relevant. COVID-19 is. That's all we type. Okay. All right. COVID-19 COVID is. And if you're playing at home, I want you to do this as well. <laughs> COVID-19 is. Is this with a hyphen or without a hyphen? Without a hyphen. So without COVID-19 hyphen. is one word. One word. So, COVID-19 yeah. so, is. And then my okay. suggestions are Israel, because is. Isolation is. USA issues is not deadly, is airborne. Yeah, I mean, I've got similar. Did you get Israel at the top there? Yeah, yeah, Israel's at the top. Yeah, yeah I've got wow. isolation guidelines is caused by. I've got the same. I've got the exact wow. same. Wow, wow. Like What's your? Oh, David Trady Moore. COVID 19 is not a pandemic. COVID 19 <laughs> is airborne. COVID 19 is caused by. COVID 19 is killing me. COVID 19 is here to stay. COVID-19 is killing me song. (laughs) COVID-19 is becoming less deadly. COVID-19 thinks Dave has great hair. (laughs) (laughs) Right, okay. Now, this is the experiment. We all hit search. Enter and we search it, okay? So my top results is a graph. For some reason, of Iceland. Don't know why. Mine is also of Iceland. (laughs) What's yours, Dave? Wait, are we using the three scooters (laughs) Google account? And that's why we get the same results. (laughs) What's yours, Dave? Mine is a... um, it's a graph of Australia. Wow, okay. Uh, um, so my top results, websites-wise, goes health.gov.au, yep. cdc.gov, yep. and um, I'll go to the, the first actual website after that, then a few top stories. CDC, DHHS. And I, don't guys su- I don't want to subscribe to Pornhub. See, I, mine's CDC, <laughs> and then it goes uh, health.newsouthwales.gov, then it's DHHSS. DHHS. Yeah. yeah, mine's got health.gov, mine's got 
uh, after that. Uh, yeah. And then I've got Opli singer um COVID-19 are Islandi. Somewhere in Why there. is it Islandic? I don't Why is it I get that? Point is, there unless, are... Unless, uh, unless dot .is is the, the, the you know, like dot .com. Yeah, you. that makes, that uh, maybe makes so much sense. Iceland. But, all right, this is a perfect... It is minutely different, but we are all friends. We go to the same places. Geographically, we're the same. Uh, I mean, we're from different places originally, but we're similar social groups. Well, let me ask you a question. How much do you search about COVID-19? Wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, Iceland's had 10 deaths due to COVID-19. Can we just point <laughs> yeah, that out? I Jesus. Fucking, there's like seven of them there. It doesn't matter. fine. <laughs> Do you know in Iceland they have to have an app to check if you're related to the person that you're dating? Yeah, there's that so a few people fucking cousin. Yeah. Amazing. Really? Love it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I'm not searching COVID-19 that much. I don't know what my top search would be. Probably. Because I, I hardly, I hardly I, I search, but I'm searching specifically to get to either covidlive.com or worldometer for stats. Yeah. What, yeah, what a website, by the way. And oh, if that's fucked up, you know, <laughs> is that accurate though? That website. I mean, I all the numbers so. are, are not. Uh, they're as accurate as reported. Yeah. Okay. Let's just leave it. I, let's leave COVID at that. <laughs> my my um my I've been looking at it recently because of the UK and the fact that their their cases are just going through the roof. Um, like they're getting like nearly seven thousand cases a day. But, but if you don't go to the pub after 10, you'll be fine. If you don't yeah. go to the pub after 10, you'll be absolutely okay. Yeah, man. This is the thing, though, right? So they're reporting 6,000 new cases and 34 new deaths. This is a, the reason I'm talking about this and when we're talking about social media is that these things fuel people's biases on yeah. social media. Um, mm-hmm. So you're going to get... The well, 6,000 cases, but only 30 people died today. I mean, it's still 30 people that yeah, have died. That, that is also a thing that kind of comes up in the social dilemma where they realised, and however accurate this is, they realised that they could change people's opinions based on the content they are yeah. seeing. Mm-hmm. Okay, which is scary. And it's, um, if you ever watch the, um, fuck, what's it called? The Great Hack. Yep. They touch on how social media was used and is a Cambridge Analytica. They yeah. touch on how the US election was heavily influenced by social media and they could turn someone from a Democrat to a Republican or vice versa on whoever yeah. paid the highest amount of money. I, now, I, I, when, my, we, when we watched the two seconds, sorry about that, Dave, but it's just on, no, on, on that topic. Um, when we watched the, the Social Dilemma, one of the things that absolutely just set me off was the fact that they said that Facebook done tiny little experiments to see if they can make someone go out and vote. Not vote a certain way, but tiny experiments to see if what they've done in their home feed can make them go out and vote without the, the end users being aware that that was even happening to them. Yeah. And what they've done is they found that, yes, that was unbelievably true, and that was the, they could do that, no bother at all. It's a huge influence that social media so, has on So the fundamentally, they can change behaviours. It's yes. is essential, like, yeah. And then, and then, obviously, the social dilemma targets that about politics, which I think is, is for the back half of the whole documentary, maybe back third, that's heavily what they're, they're talking about. It's not just about uh, influence, because that's going into the documentary. I thought it was just about influence and them having data mining and all this stuff that I've known since I first used it when I was like 10. But what they're ta- talking about m- most importantly is the effects on politics and voting. And, and I think that's a really important thing to consider when using social media well there's another aspect they talk about and it you know i i kind of want us to do a podcast or an episode about mental health but it does also affect that and there's a statement they make in the documentary and it is this isn't the time of information it's actually the time of disinformation you know the time of fake news and what are you actually reading you know, you, back in the day or whatever, or even recently, what I read on my phone, I believe is true. Now it's only in the last few years where I actually will, if I read it. something, yeah, I read something and I'm like, wow, this is shocking. I'll go and actually Google, has this happened? You know, your famous things of Eddie Murphy has died and it went around the world and he had, actually had it. The biggest issue though, and where I say about mental health is, you know, you're talking about it massively inf- influencing politics. It's actually influencing as well how we interact with 
each other. Yeah, with humans are very complicated people. You know, we have spectrums and our brains process information different ways. Uh, and socializing can be difficult for a lot of people. And it's changing how we socialize with people. You know, we rather hide behind the phone and send a <laughs> message than actually build those face-to-face -face values. And it's something like, and me and Elise were talking about this and filters and social media, Instagram and all that. The, and social dilemma picks up on this. The suicide rate or the rate that young teenage girls, not so much boys, but teenage girls are opting to get surg a plastic surgery because they want to change their opinions to match what the Instagram or Snapchat filter you know, gives them a perception of how they look. Yeah, that's a massive fucking problem, boys. Yeah. And, and, no, and their suicide rate and depression rate in teenagers is it's just on, is, it's scarily on the rise. And I, I, you know, if I have kids one day, I don't want them to be faced with that. And that raises another question: Why? When do we give a, a, a teenager a phone? I kind of went off on a bit of a rant there, but there, there's a lot of a more, uh, there's a lot of fucking problems that social For media is causing. <laughs> Definitely, definitely for younger people. But this is what I would say in respect to that, okay? Um, if someone is getting, someone's, you know, following people that have all this like, plastic surgery done and it's what they like, it's what they, they think, it's what they personally go, I would quite like to look like that. I like that they look fake. That is 100% a thing. And, and I know that people exist out there that go, I want massive lip fillers, I want this, I want that. And, you know, that is an act of choice. Um, what I'm going to say I want to look like Zac Efron <laughs> you've nailed it you've nailed it halfway there um, Dave halfway I, I think I, I don't know if the, the same will be for you guys but I used to and I was like one of the little emo goth kids in school and for and your emo goth days and I'm looking at you Isaac and of course he's you were, still living I wasn't <laughs> what do you mean I definitely wasn't <laughs> you, you look like Johnny Depp's yeah, now I do I'm going through it's all like, those phases now I didn't like drink as a teenager I didn't do any I'm doing all of those things in my 20s all Isaac the shit normal kids a, did I'm doing now Isaac is Jack Sparrows and the bottle of rum little child <laughs> um, oh, but yeah I, I, I was one of those little goth kids and it was almost cool to be depressed that was like an actual thing and there would be all these these people that you'd hang about with and you look they're like oh I cut myself and things like that and you go well are you are you doing this because of the weird scene that we're in and that's kind of expected of you? But these little kids are there in that scene and they see all these thousands of people doing it on social media as well. Of course, it's going to influence them. Yeah. Of course, it's going to put that self harm rate up. And it's of course, the power of mass as well. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Sorry, uh, thanks for up, boys. Uh, beer two, by the way. Uh, yes. This is the passion fruit smash. Do you like silver beer? Well, yeah, it's so so. It's I'm so about, so. I'm about to find out, aren't I? Oh, right. Maybe, I'll, maybe right. I'll be depressed after this. <laughs> I think I think new segment. Someone has to come to the table with four new beers each week, except for JJ, of course, because he only drinks desperado. I only drink uh, desperado uh, solidly, and only for you, desperados. And we do We've Australian got... craft beers, and we we give a bit of a shout, a bit of a review. Oh, Dave, you <laughs> started got, something. You started got, something. We've got Miffy, who's the manager of Freddie Wimpole's, um, and she started doing her own. Uh, beer reviews on Instagram. I think it's called Beery Hoppins. Yep. Oh, that's a good name. It's really good. Uh, a really good name. Uh, shout out to Miffy. Um, but she's been doing it. It'll be like her, a picture of her hand holding the, you know, as if my face is the camera looking out and her hand holding the beer like that. And then she reviews the beer and there's some the quirky of the beers beer. on there. Yeah, it's a picture of the beer. I like basically. the way that you decided to do that. You didn't actually use the camera as the camera. You <laughs> use your face. Your face. <laughs> Everyone listening is like, what the hell is Dave? I am, I am going to be one of those fathers who looks at the phone with the glasses down. <laughs> <laughs> flip phone, flip, flip cover. Oh, oh, Someone's trying to FaceTime me. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So back to social media. Yeah, and sorry. The thing we were kind of talking about is the rabbit hole kind of theory that they talked about. Which um, is just what we went down there. Jesus Christ. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so for those that haven't seen um, The Social Dilemma, basically what they talk about is if you get you get a little taste for some, like maybe a conspiracy theory or a, a far left or a far right movement or something like that. Just or as they say, far extreme center. Yeah, whatever <laughs> it may be, right? <laughs> and then you bite 
you watch it, you see it to the end and then Facebook's algorithm reads that and goes, cool, this person likes this, let's give them more. And then they go further and further down the rabbit hole because it's addictive and you discover more. And then what they're talking about is the negative effects of how that can then change behavior. And it can then lead to, they, they mentioned it, they touched on it about him getting um, gun advertisements. And I think they were alluding to the fact that he was, could have then shut up a school. Which, which I kind of liked about the social dynamic because I thought they were honestly going to go down that road. I thought that were, as well. Uh, yeah. And, and I was sorry, happy they did it. Sorry, we should have rewind that. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. But, <laughs> No, we'll I just do a big at the start. Blah, spoiler yeah, alert. I do. Yeah, maybe JJ, you say that in the pre bit, but yeah, um, I thought they were strongly. I thought he was about to shoot up a school at some point, which is horrible to think. But. Now, and, and the and the, the the documentary, there's a, a they were showing the most extreme versions yep. of everything. For example, <laughs> spoiler again. Spoiler alert would have been at the start. Hopefully, if I remember. Well, you just won't say it anymore, but we'll do the spoiler no, no. alert. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, <laughs> like, there's a point where the the first of all, the family that's involved. Who's the red-haired woman? Is she an auntie? Is she a sister? They I assume she's the sister that moved out. <laughs> Maybe. Really, really weirdly. Who's, who's this? You know the red-haired girl that's in it. That's like. No, talking. that's the that's the sister. How do you know that? So we all just, well, us three just had three different opinions of who that person was. Anyway, I thought so, she was the sister. Um, yeah, so there's a point where the younger sister, when they've all put their phones inside this like little, like clear plastic case where you could lock it for an hour so no one plays with her phone, she gets up, tries to break into it without anyone noticing, whilst they're all sitting at the table as a family. <laughs> so then obvious. Somehow, the somehow dad's just staring at me like, safety, "What are you doing?" Somehow finds a pair of safety goggles. <laughs> Yeah, don't you have them for when you cut onions? <laughs> I have them for when I cut onions. I don't like to cry in the kitchen. I mean, like, and then, and then she smashes it. Like, if that happened in a Liverpool or Glaswegian <laughs> household, it'd be like, Get are you fucking kidding me? Get here, you little fucking shit. You'll I'll be part of that smartphone in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll smash your head in, kid. <laughs> Do you go up them stairs because you'll be coming down them one way? <laughs> <laughs> this sour beer is going to me a bit. <laughs> what do you think it's of a very it? progressive it's household. Sour, it? It's very sour. Yeah, I, love it. I mean, it does what it says on the tin, like. It does. Mm. Um, so, yeah, they were showing the extreme versions in the sun at one point, who's part of the, I think of the, the football team or something. Um just stops going to practice because he's checking his phone too much. At one point, sitting in the sitting in the, the hall, like in the corridor, sitting by himself. Well, the girl that he likes for some reason comes up and talks to him and goes, "Are you going to come with me?" And he's like, "No." But the whole thing is led up to him trying to talk to this girl. And he's like, "No, it's okay." And just sits on his phone. It's very extreme situations, and I get that they're trying to point out the bad side of it. They, they are realistic, though. Those situations could potentially happen. And they do happen, That's it, but it doesn't yeah. happen to everyone now. No. My, what I noticed is that I was... So we were trying to watch this before we started recording tonight. And what I noticed is that I was checking Facebook Messenger to make sure that us three were all going to be able to, to record, but I was constantly checking that whilst watching a a documentary I was ignoring it until you until you like tagged me and I had to check but here's, all right, here's another thing about the different types of social media right because I think Facebook Messenger doesn't it doesn't give you random content like the whole point of the social dilemma was this these algorithms that feed you videos recommended videos ads this that Messenger doesn't really do that at the moment it mm -hmm. is just a platform to message people a, yeah. like there's not these other things so if you delete facebook but still have facebook messenger you're kind of all right you're kind of you're yeah, still being yeah, data yeah. mined but you're not getting shoved in your face all of these listen if facebook things. wants to know uh my my drinking pattern because that's all that is it's just me asking people when i can go for a drink with them <laughs> when this is all done that's all it is it's up to them you now i add that. to that though where yeah. you're saying um messenger and the data mine so Picture this, I watch The Social Dilemma and then I listen to the Joe Rogan, Edward Snowden podcast uh, after that. And then after that, I was convinced that the world's out to get me and uh, the, the fucking getting you, man, the, the listening to your butt. 
on that, like, it is scary. You know, you say Messenger. I'd say I use Messenger for 80, 90% of my contact. I yeah, who texts? Us? Who, yeah, who SMSs yeah. anymore? I literally Do you remember when I don't text, you, uh, but I use WhatsApp a little bit for, yeah. to speak to my friends back home. I mean, Facebook uh, owns that as well. So yeah, but so you screwed is, either way. The thing is, you know what is scary? And Edward Snowden was saying this. They and like I kind of knew this already, but it kind of hit home when you've been watching those documentaries and you listen to. They literally can pull up anything you've ever said. Yeah. They can find out anything, but you never think about that when you're sending the messages, do you? I mean, I only send love and butterflies, but um, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> you can, um, yeah. It's kind of scary that at a click of a finger, this company can look into everything. You've heard of those things, but when... it's, it's not scary though because you sign up with a user agreement at the start. Absolutely, and that's quite. Yeah, clearly, who reads that? Think, no one reads that. that, that the human fault, sentai pad. All right, South Park <laughs> talked about this like 10 years ago. Yeah. And I remember, remember watching that and being like, oh, it's so funny. Because South Park made an episode where all these kids weren't reading the user agreements and then they ended up getting turned into human sentai pads where they <laughs> were getting glued to their iPads and other people's asses and all kinds of weird shit, right? And back then it was a comment on how we don't read the terms and conditions. And as a little kid, wide eyed, you're like, Oh, that's true. I should read them more, but you don't, you still don't. No, nah. but I'm aware it, that all of those things, it are doesn't there. matter even if you did read them because at some point in those terms and conditions, it will say something along the lines of the company has the right to change these user terms whenever they feel fucking like it. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. never, it's never a level playing field. Do you agree to one set of rules? But it could be different. But, but it's a, 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 an even playing field. Cause you don't have to accept them. You don't have to. Yeah, use that but, then, but then if you don't accept them, you're basically cut off from this modern world. Because why if you, if you click disagree, oh, okay, you can't use the app. Yeah. Most of our phones are centered around apps now. So yeah. you disagree. You here's the thing, got, Dave. Here's you've the got thing. A really yeah, you can be like Cass weight. in the social here, dilemma. That redhead here's chick. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What what is it that's so uh, focused around apps? What is it, Dave? Huh? What what was it? What device was it that was focused around apps? Oh, wait, Your well, phone. Your iPhone, phone. Yeah, phone. Yeah. Apple, Google. So phone, what is whatever. it? What's a phone primarily for? What, what could you do with that phone? <laughs> what, what could you use it for? Take, get, take a stab in the dark here. Hello? Oh, hi, hey. there. hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm um, actually using my phone for this podcast right now. So I that's love you why phone. you're looking so, so good. <laughs> do I sound um, better this week? Yeah, you sound better and you look I better. I wonder if Rhodes have been listening to this. I could do with a new mic. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to do something. Something that... I done with Jasmine when I was watching. Everyone here's got. You can't do it, Dave, because you use their phone to record. I'll do it, Isaac. I don't know if your phone will be able to. So iPhones have got something called Screen Time, and you can see how much you've used your phone and what for. All right. I can tell you what mine was because it showed up the other day, but mine was something like five hours. So I'll take per week or per day or what? No, it goes, it goes per week. Is it week? what five? No, it can't no, be per week. Five days. Day. Day, sorry. So, my Are we checking example, Insta? Hmm? Are we checking I, specifically or? No, no, I'm checking no, it my tells whole you, phone. It ah. tells you as a whole. So, today, as of recording, we're in a date, which I'm not going to say because we like to keep things vague. <laughs> Are we releasing this Tuesday? We release this. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Uh, so, today is the 27th of September. Um, and as of today, it is only 10 p.m. at night. And I have been using my phone for maximum uh, for uh, uh, altogether six hours and 23 minutes okay wow. now that seems like a lot and it's because it is a lot now it says that my most used thing is facebook for an hour and 11 minutes and then i've got the internet just a safari browser google maps for 46 minutes because i had to take my cat to the vet today uh, unfortunately i had to put him down because he was too heavy no i'm kidding on. he's a lot <laughs> i was about to say, say you that you cannot do that <laughs> <laughs> Um, and podcasts and YouTube. Now, cool. So it says entertainment wise, I've used my phone for an hour and 50 minutes. Socially, an hour and 30 minutes. And travel, an hour and 30 minutes. I'm aware those don't all add up, but that's the three sections they've got. Um, 
travel, cool. I was using my phone as a map. At the same time, I was using my phone for podcasts, so it records those two things together. So it's a bit weird. Because Why were you podcasting on the move? I was listening to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to uh, a podcast. <laughs> what is it called? Hi, it's, it's called JJ from the Free Schooners. <laughs> I'm just on the number forty-seven bus. <laughs> I was I was listening to a podcast called uh, Whistleblowers. Funnily enough, it's like it's not what you think. It's about um, the NBA and the uh, the nineties and two thousands, and about referees that were corrupt. It's absolutely outstanding. Shout out to whistleblowers. Go and take a listen to that. But that shows how much time that we use our phone daily for. My argument for this is the following. Before phones were a thing, I would have said that people would have used things to entertain themselves, such as newspapers and books before then. Okay, They were getting their information from newspapers. I know for a fact that there have been people that read the newspaper for a couple hours a day when they go home. Everyone's yep. seen someone on TV do it, you know, like the dad sits down, he opens up the paper yeah, yeah. and he starts reading. It's just a different form of consuming time. That's all it is yeah. in this day and age. But of course, newspapers didn't have the analytics of yeah. what the social media networks can get off of us now. I, and I think that's the, the most powerful part for me that, that I, I knew everything from the first hour of the documentary and I, I mean, I knew essentially the political side of things as well, but that's, that's the part that really struck home was how they can turn inner right people to far right people, inner left people to far left people. They can, they can push and pull and manipulate and just like, and for example, like my, my mom, my mom's definitely listening to this. Hi. At the start of COVID was kind of just like, oh, COVID's a thing. Uh, what? Uh, I don't really, uh, to now being like, oh, it's all bullshit. And, I'm, I'm. and I know that her opinions are completely manipulated by the social media that she, yeah. she reads. I, I think that's very correct. I've got, I've got like, my mum and my mum's friends over here. They are very, um, I wouldn't say my mum is more my mum's friend. My mum's actually weirdly left wing on this subject, but um, her friends are very much like, oh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. And I've seen even, even seen people that I was friends with back in Scotland suddenly turn major right wing on this, and weirdly, it almost exactly correlates with what football team they support. It's crazy. So if they support Rangers, which is a football team back home that I also support, they're very right wing about it. I'm not right wing about anything. If they support Celtic, they're very left wing about it, and it's very odd Celtic. how that correlates. Uh, uh, that annoys me because I actually prefer the fans more than my own but uh, <laughs> it's just it's very weird how this splits and that again might come down to you know realising okay Ranger supporters like this kind of thing let's feed them this kind of this kind of media yeah. but I'm worried more along the lines of I see stuff that is very left wing and I've mentioned this before in the podcast that I see stuff that is left wing and I am in this left wing bubble of going you know, oh, I don't like it if someone has the opposite view to the point where I've actively sought out now on, on YouTube and things like that, people that have the opposite opinion from me. You know, your Jordan Petersons, your... Um, Which um, I, I, I think, sorry to interject on, I think that is healthy to yeah, have Yeah, it's very, very responsible. And- it keeps you grounded to have people with a, a p- different opinion to you. Sorry, so JJ. Now, but- I, yeah, I, 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 think, I think you're right. I think social media may have me wrong. Because I I get all of that right wing stuff already, and I think socially I'm very left, but then maybe financially and fiscally I might be more right. So I'm a, I'm a bit of a split depending on the way we look at things. But I'll get bombarded with John Peterson and Ben Shapiro and all of that stuff that I look at, and I just like, what the fuck am I looking at? Get the mm. fuck out of my get the fuck out of my face. But it comes up constantly, and I don't know if there's other trigger points that like my character profile is similar to that of someone who's more right. So like I'm, I'm currently living with um, a friend of mine, Simon, who is a bit more right than me. And he shares a lot of that content um, more just because he likes to create conversations and all that kind of stuff. And I'll, I'll, I'll sometimes view it, but I'm not sure if that's then giving the little computer people as the, as the documentary <laughs> put it, and thinking, oh, this person believes in this, they like this, let's put more on. Yeah. So I, I, think, I think it gives me both. It gives me the right perspective to my left already opinions, which is good. There's definitely uh, a correlation between who I know this is. I know this is uh, 
kind of this will be for quite a lot of people. But I think there's a huge correlation between if you watch the Joe Rogan podcast on YouTube and who his guests are at the time. So, for example, when Ben Shapiro was a guest, you start getting suggested because you watched I watched the Joe Rogan podcast or listened to it while I'm working at home, like Monday to Friday. And if Ben Shapiro's a guest, then suddenly Ben Shapiro's stuff will start appearing yeah. mm-hmm. in my feed. And that goes to show how much of a huge influence someone like Joe Rogan has. That's a massive influence on people. That's 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 insane. You essentially by him taking a phone call and going, Yeah, kill have Ben Shapiro on the podcast, you could essentially turn someone's political opinions around just from having that one phone call because well, that guy yeah. Um, sorry, I've I've listened to his podcast a lot. It's probably one of the main podcasts I listen to, and there are thoughts I've never had before. Before from listening to his podcast, there are things that I am willing to now try in my life um, because of listening to his podcast or Polygamy. whatever. Ayahuasca, yeah. ayahuasca, 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 ayahuasca. <laughs> but then there's but social media also does that. And it was. Um, yeah, we, they say at the very beginning of the documentary, um, you know, we have all these engineers and their job is to put ideas into your head that you wouldn't normally think of on a day-to-day basis. And the bit that scares me in that documentary, and I do want to, boys, I want us to get on to the good side of social yeah, media yeah, later on. But the bit that scares me is, now I'm going to get this massively wrong, but... Is this the Matrix they, one? No, they talk yeah. about, like, obviously our brain evolution, human evolution. We are a very social species. We release dopamine when good things happen to us, good social interactions. You get a like on your Facebook post that releases dopamine. You get your like on the Instagram, dopamine. Um, what happens when you get an ha- angry reactor? Oh, I, I, I'll kill them. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, we, the engineers' jobs are to increase your screen time to uh, potentially sell you something while you're online or, you know, give way for these companies to sell you stuff. And they say something along the lines of, it's your one little tiny human brain and the other on the other side of your phone is 50 engineers trying to figure yeah. out how you can think. How can your brain ever win in that battle fucking judo just chop chop it <laughs> yeah. because bow, as, as, bow, much as, bow. as much as we like to think that we're very individual we're really not no nah, fuck no we are we are very much i mean that, that's why friends become friends isn't it it's not because you hate the same thing sometimes you become friends oh, because you hate the same person I, fucking... I, <laughs> I am not wearing i am not wearing leggings i love you Isaac, I'm not wearing leggings, all right? <laughs> but you become friends because you like the same things. You've got a similar personality. You, you know, you think that's how you, we've all ended. I don't think we've all got the same personality, but we like the same things, and, yeah. and we go on together. That's going to be really easy for an engineer to work out, isn't it? Like, yeah. oh, cool. These guys love podcasts. Yeah, similar <laughs> interests, yeah. keywords. They're the same. No. Done. Yeah. So that's. I mean, it's going to be easy for them, and I really don't think that you know we put a lot of thought into into what we are inputting into our devices. Like we, we search for, you know, something on Google. We search for uh, Desperado's beer, for example, wink, wink. And um, the, the guys at Google go, cool, this guy really likes Desperado's because he keeps saying the word Desperado's. Also, he's got a podcast that he keeps saying Desperado's in. And we'll somehow yeah. link those together. And I'm going to start getting suggestions for that because I do quite a lot of the time. And it's not hard for them to do anymore. But seeing that, and here's, here's something. Yasmin, turned around to me and said, I know all this happens, but I just don't care. Yeah, um, that's me. Yeah. That's me. I, I, I've I, always known, like I remember back when we were real young and you get those fucking idiots that post on Facebook being like, if you don't share this status that says, hey, Facebook, I do not allow you to use my pictures. Oh, my as of tomorrow, still does yeah, that. As of tomorrow midnight, they're changing the laws and blah, 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 blah all this bullshit, right? And then I remember just being like, no. And they're like, what? What do you mean? Like, no, this isn't a thing. How do you know that? I'm like, because it's I just because how I, would that even work? You're work? just dumb, right? <laughs> but like, I've always known they own all my photos. I've always known they all own all my content. I've always known that they they have an absolute I, I've got the same username for every I get is how I've had that <laughs> since I was Grade him, two, him, him. <laughs> grade two across every platform you could possibly imagine. I've still got a MySpace out there. 
right? I don't care. Fucking bring it on. Look at this rogue promoting that I said stuff going on right <laughs> Yeah, he's, my MySpace song is uh, Mr. Brightside. So, yeah. uh, is it he's, actually? He's, yeah, I think it is. I'm going to find it. He's, he's throwing down the gauntlet there. No, I, I agree with you. I don't... Uh, I don't care really. I don't really care about if they have but my we information. Should care. We should care. No, no. no. Yes, well, I was leading. I trust tonight. Google more than I trust my government. Is that fucked up? Yes. No. Well, no, it's fucking. No. no, I don't believe it. And I'll tell you why it's think... messed up because it, no one governs Google. No, no one. There's no one going. You know, oh Google, you've got to make sure you do this. And the, half the time, the things they say they do, they don't do it, and they just take a massive fine for it. And they're like, I don't really care. I made $3 billion today. Google can do whatever they want. I, d- I don't care that they have access to my messages, my photos, or whatever. What I've seen I the care- things you sent me, Dave. You I- should care. <laughs> <laughs> what I care more about is, because it doesn't really bother me, and Isaac, it doesn't bother you, and JJ probably doesn't bother you. What I care about is the people who... This is going to sound really egotistical and it's not meant to come across it. it it's, I care about the people that it does. It affects more than it affects me. The people yeah. who, you know, I'm, I'm going to go back to it, you know, the teenage um, girls or boys or whatever who start developing suicide when, or su- suicidal thoughts when they should be at the happiest time in their life. Yeah. I, I, I care about it when... You know, you've got someone who's an adult who's sitting all alone and he's got no one to talk to and and he's maybe, oh, I don't know, fucking his ex-girlfriend's now off shagging someone else and she's posting she's photos of it. And yeah, <laughs> and it, it, it is that one photo that might push him over the edge and he decides yeah. to take the life. That is the... Absolutely. That is, yeah. where, that is oh. where information becomes too much information. Yeah. Also, yeah. my MySpace song is uh, Led Zeppelin, Stay Where to Hell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Super. Um, I, 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 my least favorite people on social media are the people, and this, is, this has only been maybe within the last two weeks that this has been the case because it's really started to get to me. It's people that post up be a picture that says, cool, um, find out your um, stripper name, and it'll be like, your birth date, so the day in the month it is, like let's see the, the 12th, and then that'll say dodgy, and then the middle bit will be the month, and you go um, I don't, February, which will be yellow, and then something else, which will be the year. What you've just done is give out your exact date of birth. Someone yeah, the can now take the, yeah, You can now take that data, no bother at all, and you're able to... to, to <laughs> You're able to, to mine that really easily. So what they do after that is they go, oh, um, what is um, get your dog's name and put something silly in front of it to make uh, a movie title. I've just got your, your favorite pet's name. Easy. Which is, the, which is the ultimate secret question on every <laughs> platform ever. Yeah. Well, your yeah. mum's maiden name and... <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Find out your, I don't know, your, yeah, but, your Hogwarts name. But like these that. people... <sighs> These people are the ones that I think social media has an issue that, that I don't think social media affects me to the same degree that it affects those people. And I think those people are the ones that in, for example, the social dilemma, we're concerned about potentially having their political beliefs extremified, if that's a word. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they're the ones that are more easy, easier to manipulate because they're potentially not as critically thinking and, uh, don't question things that they hear as much and all that kind of stuff. They're the ones that I think, I think social media does have generation. a, yeah, they, they have a, a, a they got to sort their shit out a little bit. Yeah. The older Let's. generation. And I'd say people that, and I don't mean that this is going to come off very egotistical and I do apologize for this, but people that maybe don't have that solid of an education, right? They yeah. just don't seem to be able to, to think about the consequences of the things that they post if I posted something that said COVID-19 isn't real, all it takes is for one person to go, oh, that guy's telling the truth. Cool. I'm going to share that now. And essentially it acts like a virus because yeah. that spreads and it get, clicks onto two people. And you're just, misinformation is a huge thing. Do yourself a favor. When you see a post, as David said earlier, check that. There's a, there's a website called snopes.com. 
fantastic for finding out if something it say? It's, sorry, what was that? Snopes? Snopes, S-N-O-P-E-S dot com. Snopes. And what it'll do, okay. uh, you, you type in whatever it is and it'll come up and say, this is true, this is false, and it's independently verified um, and all that jazz, you know. Some things won't be on it, but, you know, you can find out like, for example, if you you said uh, um, Billy Connolly was dead or something like that, you go yeah. to smoke.com and go, no, he's not. Well, this is the thing, and they said it in that documentary, it was something, I forget the figure. I've got, but fake news spreads, I think it was 37% faster. Oh, it might not. It, it, I think that spreads, stat is fake news, Dave. <laughs> it, spreads, it spreads faster than normal news because it's got that shock packed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you know. yeah, shock news sells, doesn't it? Like bad news, yeah, pain, yeah. death, all of these things that are terrible do better than a cat was saved from a tree today. I would love a, a, a news station that was just good news. That would be oh, hey, Imagine, you would, then, uh, I reckon well, a cable I news network, a cable news network could do it. And I reckon they would, especially during Corona, you would get so many viewers because people were just like, I need something that's not going to... Well, I, I actually tried to search because um, we do this news article thing we did. Mm. And I actually tried to Better search <laughs> good news of the week or good news. It's hard to find a website that does just purely base good news. What do you mean? That's Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, but, uh, uh, speaking of good, we should maybe talk about right before before we do, before we talk about the good thing. There's one quote that I thought was really really good because we're we're talking about the current tense. We're not, we haven't talked about the future, and the future yeah. is essentially it's a, it's a curve, right? It just keeps going up, and eventually it is probably going to get to a point where regulation needs to step in objectively. If yeah, not yeah, now, definitely, then definitely, future, whatever. Yeah. But the, the the quote from that that main guy in the documentary, which was, "How do you wake up from the matrix?" when you're inside of the matrix and you don't know. Red pill, easy, <laughs> next. But, but if you don't have Morpheus there giving you the option, and I think that's really interesting. I would, I would also like to say quickly, I said red, but the, there is things in the internet that red pill means, and I didn't mean that in the slightest, okay? Yeah. It's a very racist term for something. I didn't mean that, okay? I do apologize. <laughs> but, but like you look at it, and, and then when we're talking about those people that are extreme right, extreme left, and they grow up like that and then continue like that because their Facebook from teenage years has always been like that. Or their, and all of their social environments and their ge geographical environments all dictate this one opinion lane that they can never break out of. And then it's true. Like, how do you wake up from that? How do you break out of that cycle when everything's systemically between traditional media and now new media are all pointing you towards that one thing? How would, bit, what, what do you think the answer to that is, though? Well, th that's the thing. Then you could get government regulation involved, but then you also have to trust the governments. And then that can raise a whole other debate, which I think we should take a, have a podcast about, about the idea of um, socialism and, and democracy and this and that and, and what the best kind of political ways forward are and all that kind of crap. Um, we, we, we as humans, and what you're talking about, and this is a thought that often pop, pops into my head, is we as humans get ourselves into some serious fucking messes. There's so many different opinions, so many different voices shouting. It's, it's, it's hard. It'd be nice for us all to move forward in one direction, but it's... It's pretty fucking... I'm sorry, I'm struggling to put this into words. But I, you're very correct, Dave. I, I, we, we, are correct. So, we are so messy in how we handle things and how we perceive things. And, you know, it's Celtic and Rangers, they fucking hate each other. Yeah. What? <laughs> Over... Yeah, there's a bit it's of religion, a religion in thing. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah. yeah, it's a religion thing and it's a football thing. And But... <sighs> they still got the same blood going through the veins. You know? Absolutely. And I think that, that this pandemic has brought out the worst in people. I yeah. can't believe that there's people out there. When you try to explain to them that, for example, in the UK, I think they've had 40,000 deaths. Um, and they're like, yeah, but it's only 40,000 people that have died. And you, you're going, what are you talking about? That's 40,000 people that have died. If, if three people die, that's too much. If one pe person dies, that's too much. Like, Where's your empathy towards people? And it's I found that that this pandemic, especially in America, has brought out the immense selfishness of oh, people. Oh, mate! 
I want to go. I want to go for a haircut. I don't care if you want to go for a haircut. You want right. to kill someone. I, I find. I find. Sorry, Isaac. Just quickly. I find social media is we hide behind the screen, and we can say whatever the fuck we want with no real repercussions. Unless you're a celebrity or a politician, no one's really going to. It's not really going to come back on you. Um, generally, so therefore, it makes it a lot easier to spread. Hate, you know, Isaac. We we know it, and JJ know it. We're, we're, I'm gonna call them out. Residents of St Kilda. Why <laughs> oh, oh, you? Uh, you don't uh, uh, yeah, we're not sharing, no, 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 sharing this podcast. That, that, <laughs> that, that Facebook group is a platform to just people take chunks out of each other. They fucking go in on each other, and man, I've been guilty of it. I've been guilty of. Seeing people just chat absolute nonsense in that group, and I it it, it, it angers me. You know, we should we yeah. You know, I shouldn't be spending my day to day life looking at my phone, going, "Oh, this guy's a fucking con." Oh, oh sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but I did that. Oh, but this, you know what I mean? This this guy said, "Oh, this woman." What good is it doing me? Yeah. What good is it actually bringing to my day-to-day life? I'm wasting time on my phone, getting angry about someone who I'll never meet in my life. Here, right, I, I've got a, a, I'm gonna, I, I might go as far as to call it a fetish, I'm not sure. I really enjoy arguing with people online. Oh, I've seen, yeah, oh. You've, you've joined all these Facebook groups, you've gotten... Oh, um, well, I just love it. I love it so much, and, and I love it. I don't know why, and I can't explain it. I just, it doesn't matter if I've got 400 people attacking me for the one thing. If I can point a, a, a hole in their, their plan or their, their thought process, if I can point out that flaw and go, yeah, but what about this? And they go, ah, and then they just can't figure it out. I love that. I love it so much. What is um, so, are too many people trying to do that to each other? Yes, absolutely. And that's the thing. Why do we take it so seriously? I do that. Why do we, why do we, you know, you, you, you're saying there, why do we enjoy it so much? Because we're all fucking statistic fucks. Yeah, we, we are. I, I just like arguing. I'm a big fan. I'll do it in person with you, like, easily. No, I won't. Yes, I will. I swear I will. Yeah, but, but, you, but, you, <laughs> but you, you're debating with I, yourself I, now. <laughs> I, I don't believe that because we, we, you know, in our friendship, we've never really had debates. You know why we don't have debates? Because, because we get some of And because well, of yeah, beer. But I when, don't when are we, have, so, when are we I sober? Don't, what? I don't have the time for them. <laughs> I don't have the time for them. I'd rather But you've got time to argue on your phone. Yeah, see. <laughs> you've got time to argue on your phone. The this is a, this is a lovely beer, actually. Oh, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What's the next we beer? Got Wolf, Wolf of the Willows. Ooh, okay, Willows. Should I go and grab, should I go and grab another beer? Yeah, so I get the last desperate. Oh in. man, when are we next recording? Because I don't know if we can. Who cares? You're gonna do it. We're gonna risk it to get the biscuit, my friend. Oh my yeah. god, man. you can't live it's life. Time that you change your beer. Time that you change, but yeah, no, it's a. Uh, yeah, we. Um, I feel like Isaac, we tend to jump at the opportunity to be cruel to each other, and not always. But I do feel like sometimes we jump out the opportunity yeah. on an internet platform to be cruel to each other, which is fundamentally wrong. And it also, during COVID, um, people are locked in their houses and the only contact they have with the outside world is social media. So yeah. you are more... You are more... Um, sorry, I can't think of the word, but you, 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 you're seeing it a lot more. You are exposed. exposed to it. That's it. You're exposed words. to it a lot more. Yeah, words, beer, <laughs> alcohol doesn't really work. You're exposed to it a lot more. So therefore, you feed the beast. You get involved. You know, as much in your best interest in day to day life, you're getting dragged into now, that shit. Now, now, before we start talking about good things and stuff, I do need to say, we can keep into the <laughs> Dave. How often are you on social media, realistically? Uh, more than it should be, which a fuck, you, a fuck ton, right? Yeah, you said, uh, JJ, you said earlier, and it's really unhealthy. Like, I'll be watching a program with Elise, and you know, we're in a lads group or whatever. Ping goes off. Oh, who said this? You know, I I'm would just like to point out that I'm not in the lads group. I'm you're in the pod. I... You're in the podcast group, which I speak to a lot. Mm, okay. So, so my, my main point for, of saying that is that I don't want someone listening to this to think that we're on some sort of high horse. 
We are definitely victims yes. of like I've got yeah. an Instagram and Facebook in quarantine. I started a TikTok. Like I've I've always what, been what on. Is, what is that TikTok candle? I took. I get yours, obviously. The same as everything else. Why? Right. Here's the deal, right? I wanted to start streaming on fucking Twitch, and everyone there has like a cool name. Like I'm this. I fucking I don't know. My my mate. Lazy Planet bank. Twelve. Yeah, Lazy Planet, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's Lazy. Lazy's in the room." What am I? Am I get yours? Like, oh, it's it's just your name. Okay. It's like, well, fuck. <laughs> I can't even go. I gotta I gotta have like an internet handle going on. Um, um, but, but since we're talking about how much we use social media, I do need to mention that. Uh, today's sponsor is uh, The Three Schooners Instagram page. Um, yes. So if you just go there, we'll give you nothing. We won't manipulate you in any way. Uh, we'll simply give you facts nah, We cannot promise shit. that Isaac will not manipulate you. Cause yeah, I mean, if you want to you slide into our DMs and uh, message me through The Three Schooners. If you like a man who like Jesus. <laughs> I'll christen you, I'll baptize you, <laughs> give you some of my holy water, anything you need. Oh, don't drink his water. Do yeah, not drink the water. Don't drink his water. It's stagnant. It's stagnant. Um, I, yeah, but going back to what you were saying, Dave, about you watch like, programs and things like that and you'll check your phone. Yaz and I usually have one day a week set aside that we sit and watch a, a movie. Um, I think this week's one coming up is the one with Tom Holland and Vampire Oh Boy, my it? God, I want to watch that so much. Is that, uh, the, the Devil Devil's Son. Devil yeah, yeah, Son. yeah. Robert Pattinson. Fun fact, my cousin Emily, shout out cousin Emily, her, um, she did a full it's shoot Robert with... Robert Pattinson. <laughs> she did a full <laughs> shoot with Robert Pattinson when she was a model. She used to be a model for um, Vivian Westwood and done a photo shoot with him before he was really, really famous. So there you go. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to watch this week. And what we do is we start a movie... We get each other's phones and we throw them across the room. And by throw it, I mean quite literally, I've got a crack screen because that's what we do. I just turn on the camera. <laughs> and, and that's what we do. And we make sure that we don't look at our phones because you're not in the moment and that's what social media takes away from you. Yeah. Quite a lot of the time, no, I don't know why we've not pointed this out, Dave. Quite a lot of the time when you're DJing, and a nightclub or, you know, Isaac, I don't know what you do in a nightclub, but you do things. You'll see people on a dance floor with their phone out recording. So this is my pet hate. Recording themselves being like, yeah, this is great. This millisecond that stops recording their face goes, and they just start playing away in their phone. That moment of them having a good time wasn't them having a good time. Yeah. It was them pretending it's to fake. have a good time. It's projecting mm. a, a false idea, which then you go, then you could touch on the whole influencer thing. And all right, all right. Good thing, self-regulation, since we haven't talked about it, Facebook and Instagram making you unable to see the amount of likes on a post. Yes, yes. But that's only in Australia. Is it only in Australia? No, 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 no. it's worldwide, no. Is it worldwide now? Let me do a quick check. Let's fact check that. Pretty, pretty sure it's worldwide. (laughs) But but at, at its essence, I thought that like so many people were up in fucking arms about it and they just shouldn't have been. I think, I think it was the, the first. Unless you're an influencer, unless you're an influencer, I think that's the case. If you're an thought, influencer, was, those, those likes are a big thing because that's well, how you make your yeah, business. You can, but oh. that shouldn't... If you can't adapt, if you can't pivot like everyone else has to and every other time that things change, then fuck you. Like, well, uh, everyone's had to pivot things. during COVID. You should have to pivot when the platform that you make all of your money on changes a little bit. YouTube I has believe, did it all through the years. Like, why can't Instagram I believe it, it as uh, just in Australia at the moment. Yeah, right. Not America? I, thought, I swear it was in England. I, I swear, as well. Sorry, six countries, six countries at the moment, not worldwide. So, for Who people are the countries? Know, uh, let's find out. But Australia is definitely one of them um, because we experience that. And I, people listening from the UK might not realize that, that we can't see how many people have liked our post. But from time to time, for some weird reason, mine come back. And you I can, can, no, see you can see how many liked your own. No, you no, no, no. But I can see that in everyone's. Oh, really? From time to time, mine come yeah, back. Yeah, right. Um, like how to do it. So ba- basically, for those so that are listening that may is, not have experienced it, let me at least so finish. This is so, dated November 14th, and it looks like the so it was Australia, Brazil, Canada, Ireland, Italy, and New Zealand, but they are expanding it as time goes. So it looks like it will be a thing, but currently it may yeah. not be. So, so for those that are listening that haven't experienced it, essentially they put out a big thing that's saying that they cared about mental health and they didn't want people to be manipulated or felt uncomfortable or anything or bullshit 
not bullshit, but people actually need it, but all of these things. And then said that you wouldn't be able to see the amount of likes on other people's posts. That way you as a fragile individual potentially couldn't then compare yourself to these models or to the popular kid at school or to whatever relative to your social circle, which I thought was pretty good. No, I do agree with it. I've but that's all they've done. Going, <laughs> going on to that though, like, and I, I talk, literally talked about this today. The, you know, you're talking about the term influencer. Now, you could agree we try and we're maybe trying to fit into the same category. I disagree with that, and I'll explain why. But someone said, well, aren't you trying to be an influencer? But there are so many fucking influencers out there at the minute now. It is, again, a very saturated market. There are so many men, women trying to aspire to be this popular mm. influencer with... Um, and and they're obsessed with the likes, um, and then and Elise actually turned around to me and she goes, "Yeah, but you three are doing a podcast, so aren't you really trying to be influencers?" And I'm like, "Look, we use social media to expand our project. We're trying to get out there. Without social media, we'd be fucked. You know, yeah, how we going to advertise that otherwise? Not exactly, on exactly. So and it'd that's with really advertisers. See." See, yeah, you know the so, advertisers. So we are kind of in that category where I try and maybe, and and someone might be able to have a conversation with me and probably tell me I'm wrong, but and I'd be open to listening to that. But I believe we're trying to share our opinion on things. We're not trying to. We're not trying to sell something, right? Do you? <laughs> Hypothetical world, Desperados approaches us and wants to yeah, wants to sponsor us. Yeah, well, oh, that's us becoming influencers why, yeah. because that's we're influencing I, people to yeah. drink Desperados. That's where that's, I essentially that's what it is. That. You I can't you down. can't you can't get on a high grounds there and not that the three people that listen to this actually to be fair more than that add two zeros. Yeah, man, no, no, thank no, you. No one lie. I'm literally checking numbers for right now. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks to all of our, our listeners, by the way. But but if. If we've got, say, 200, 300 people, that's, we're not uh, worthy. 400, thank you 400, very much. unbelievable. We're not, we're not worthy like, of, of these, these, these high horses. What do we do? What do we do if someone approaches us and goes, all right, Desperado comes up to us and goes, all right, we really like what you're doing. Well, uh, then, you, here's, then you approach it with ethics, right? Like any, any business should do and they, and they don't do because they worry about profits, but you ethically look at the, the situation. So JJ loves Desperados, right? I, I don't necessarily... <laughs> I haven't tried it enough to have an opinion. Probably don't like it. No offense. But right. as soon as we're I sponsored, actually, I'll be I actually don't see. I don't see what he sees in them. They're yeah, all right. But anyways, like, point is... you shut up, man? We're taking sponsors. <laughs> point is, if we ethically, genuinely like the product, then I don't see anything wrong with doing, doing it, right? Promoting it, whatever. If you don't ethically and actually genuinely like the product, you can still advertise it. That's fine. But that's when you have to acknowledge to yourself that you are doing it for personal gains and this and that. And it's no longer a genuine connection with people. Whereas what, what we kind of want to do eventually when borders open up is genuinely help people with relocating to Melbourne and, and giving them advice and, and mm. that kind of stuff, which is something that we just generally want to help people with because more yeah. people in Melbourne means more people to drink with, more parties, more fun. Everyone gets an awesome time. I, like, it's just great. On, well, this on, that was, note, on that note, quickly. We had an announcement today in Melbourne that, that things are opening up a little bit sooner than we thought. Yeah. So uh, we've currently got a curfew that goes from 9 p.m. at night till 5 a.m. That's maybe been in place now for about six or seven weeks. Tonight's the last night. Yeah, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. and go for a run. No, 2 a.m. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> tomorrow, 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 yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow yeah, at 9 p.m. Whatever. We're all going to meet up because we can do that now. We can meet up apart from the fact, yeah, maybe not. Um, but <laughs> no, we can, it looks like October 16th could finally be the day yeah. that we can all get on the beers. Oh, my God. Oh, should we do what a podcast from a bar? Oh, my... We should do it from um, uh, Barclay, the top of Barclay. We should yeah, do it's it not open. Oh, uh, but we'll, we'll do one from... So again, like, we need to get good mates because, you know, we don't want... Nah, we'll boys. work it out. We'll work it out. <laughs> but, yeah, look, three weeks today, we can officially get on the beers. Not only that, oh. but three weeks today, we can officially all sit together and record a podcast. And speaking, of, speaking of beers, I'm on my fourth one oh, now, which is... The Chop! The Chop, which is a, a hoppy beer. What was that? Illegal um, haircuts? Is that what you just said? 
I would never partake in a legal haircut. By the well, way, here's like a mighty fresh though, Dave. I know, yeah. I no, can't believe well, Elise could cut your hair like that. Elise, oh. Elise has been so good. Shout out uh, to Elise. Elise Savage's haircut. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says, anyway, back to the beer. It says, in hops we trust, and it, it's 7%. Is it Hop Nation? Uh, it's Hop Nation, Nation yeah. Yeah, they make good beers. Yeah, Hop Nation, yeah. Um, uh, it says, shout out to Hop Nation. Pouring, <laughs> pouring, pouring a hazy straw color. The chop carries big citrus and tropical notes, finishing with a mild balanced bitterness, featuring a killer combo of some of our favorite hops: Citra, Mosia. What's Mos- Mosaic? Oh, Mosaic. I, I, I think Simcoe. we need to get Jack on because he is a master brewer. And he will be able to give us some indication of what those words mean. I mean, he, he brewed a beer in what? his kitchen <laughs> and it tasted like shit from what I've yeah, heard. He's our, <laughs> he's our closest master brewer, mate. Most yeah, right. beers do, apart my from Desperados. Is, okay. <laughs> my uncle is a master brewer. Let's just get him on. We can't afford the flights from WA, yeah. to be honest. No, ladies and gents, I have, I know I take the piss every week, but I have actually, and I mean this, I'll, I'll take a photo of my fridge if needs be. This is my last bottle. I have no more left. Yeah, but if you buy more, it's not your last bottle, is it? Yeah, but there's none left in the, the state. That's oh, I, I reckon that's you. bollocks. I can find I, some. If you can find some, great. The only person I know that may have some is Dave. You said that there was someone in Bingo that bought a Yeah, cake. you can't go and fucking mug someone for desperado. I said I was going to. I didn't. <laughs> doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get to the good side of social media. The good side. Tell me something wonderful that's came of social media for you guys. For me, social media is, it has helped me connect to people from my past. It has helped me uh, stay in touch with people who have moved far away. Um, It's made me get on the beers a lot easier. (laughs) Get on the beers. It's made us, yeah, even next level the night we do. It's made promoting that very easy. Getting a number of people there that wouldn't usually get there. I think the biggest example is right now, for the last nine months, six months, whatever, COVID-19 has been really hard for everyone everywhere, right? And I think social media, at least lockdown one, maybe not lockdown two for us in Melbourne, but for everyone in lockdown one. See, I still call it lockdown three because we had a bit that wasn't lockdown, remember, and then we went into hard lockdown. Yeah, but that's, so it's lockdown two. No, no, we went lockdown one. Yeah. And then we were let, get let out for a little bit. Then we went into lockdown two where it was only stage three. Then we got locked down. Oh, three, that's 2.5 then if you're going to go that way. Nah, lockdown four is a, a major step, man. Like, yeah, but, but it was it was continuous. There was no break. Mm. That's the, It's like if you watch a movie and then the movie gets more intense, it's not a different movie. I need to change <laughs> it, point my, is, let my me, post on Strava. Let me, <laughs> let me do my thing. So during COVID... It's been hard for everyone. Um, some people have enjoyed a bit of quiet, but f- for the most part, I would say across the world, people have gone through depression. People have gone through, I- I'm a very, I'm extroverted, like 110% extroverted. I get my energy from being around people. Surely not. <laughs> and and <laughs> I was living by myself for three months and it was hard. It was really hard. Luckily I went to work and I was surrounded by people at work. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to go to work and not have to do it from home. But when, when that kind of ended and I was just at home, it was really difficult. And I could only imagine what people did that for three months. I only did it for like two weeks. Right. So I, I was fortunate in that sense, but I think social media has bridged that gap and it allowed people to connect. We all watched Tiger King together. We all baked <laughs> fucking sourdough together. We all, even though we weren't together, right. It was just random celebrities on YouTube. There was this, there was that, but it made us feel like we weren't experiencing this painful experience alone. And I think that's that just like there's all these other examples from years gone past, but that alone, I think COVID-19, if this happened 30 years ago, would have been so much more difficult than it is today. And I I think, I think that's, that's a a positive. positive Do you know what you're saying there? Just a little fun fact. It's not a fun fact, but I was listening to a podcast do you COVID, obviously, I mean, this is glaringly obvious. Oh, here we go. COVID I, disease 2019, bet you to it. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> is that it, what you're going to say? No, no. What you're <laughs> going to say is, 
what you're saying is like 30 years ago, this would have been much, much worse. Like COVID-19, as much as it's impacted our lives, it's on the grand scale of things, it's actually nothing. Oh, yeah. like, do, you know, do you know the most deadliest disease? I learned this the other day. The most deadliest disease to humankind Malaysia? is Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. Malaysia. Malaysia. Well, why don't you just say Malaysia? Malaysia. That's a highlight clip if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. Jesus. Malaysia. Malaysia. Four Malaria. beers deep and Dave confuses countries with diseases. I did. Have, uh, Racist Dave. Unbelievable. Watch me go, watch me go on holiday time. Oh, when I was younger, sorry, I had a bad piece of chicken in. Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Malaria. But, yeah, malaria. malaria. But, but another thing that put into perspective was like, you've got people that were like, all right, World War I happened, then Spanish flu, then Great Depression, then World War II, then this, then, th- and it's, and like their lifetime was just fucked. And then we're complaining about nine months of no, at home on I, Facebook. I think I'd argue that our economic status has been much worse than anyone else's. We've had in the space, well, I'm 29 years old now. I've I lived through. I say that. What are you talking about? Let we've him finish his sentence. Sorry. We've, lived, we've lived through the recession crash of 2008. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry. House, dot com bubble price, as well. Dot com bubble. House, price, uh, house prices are through the roof. You can't buy a house right now. Not, not a chance. You can do it. Um, well, you could. You just the, have to live in a bumfuck nowhere. I think this is the third recession I've lived in. I'm not even 30. Like, ST, yeah, STA one in 10. Guys. Isn't that the rule? That's that's the general. That's the the low key informal rule of thumb is one every ten years. Big correction, big fuck around with people. But if you look really? at the, the, that's why I'm the, all in. That's why I got the the stonks going at the moment. Seventy eighteen, <laughs> the seventies, the eighties, and nineties. It's thirty years of nothing but growth. Are you sure? Was yes. It? Apart, wait a minute. Apart from, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure <laughs> economically <laughs> almost to the. There's been one every like eight to twelve years. Oh, so, fact check! You do your thing. A rece- I mean, a recession's only two quarters. We'll go back to. Do you remember? When, Anyways, like, like, this is about social media. We're not yeah, talking we'll about. We'll go back to. We'll go back to social media, like you said. Do you remember? He's right. When Facebook. <laughs> there we go. Do you remember when Facebook first came out and you yeah. could poke people oh mate i poked you every <laughs> girl i knew yeah, that guy. Wait, did. I does, does, did. does poke mean the same thing here no yeah. back then i was probably a virgin so that's, uh, yeah, all right, I, okay, f- cool. I think it means i think it means poke uh or yeah poke or whatever uh, boss I th- do you remember obviously you could like something do you remember you that like you could that throw sheep at people what, what are you talking about right on Facebook. Facebook you used piss. to be able to throw sheep. Are you talking or... about MSN Messenger or something? No, Facebook. Because <laughs> I remember when Facebook first came out, Stacy, Stacy, my sister, was like, I threw a sheep at you. I'm like, <laughs> no. Are you sure uh, that you didn't get a weird no, Welsh version of Facebook? Because Liverpool... uh, No, I'm from the Wirral and I am still very part of Merseyside. So I'm part of Liverpool. Uh, there's just I I could get to Liverpool City Centre quicker than most Liverpoolians can. That's fine. But the point is, people. throwing <laughs> sheep. I don't. Right. Uh, I don't believe you that. Could, you could honestly, someone who's listening to this podcast is going to go. Yeah, I know what Dave's on about. You could throw sheep at people. I was a late like, adopter. I was a late. I was. Mate, I was MySpace. He's not wrong. Seen at dot com. June twelfth, two thousand seven. Throw a sheep at your friends on Facebook. Mate, they should bring it back. We should make a hashtag. Bring back the sheep, Mark. For, so every <laughs> every Instagram for the next week, hashtag bring back the sheep, Mark. Of the three new poking apps, Superpoke has the best balance of features and design. It lets Facebook users bite, pinch, own, marry, worship, or throw sheep at friends. What? But this is <laughs> so. So this is the thing, Dave. You had to download an app for that to happen. I don't remember downloading that. This was and that's all part of the, social media. <laughs> that was probably the days where Bam, I Bam, full circle. I, I waited for like three hours on the dial-up game. Just so I can throw a sheep at my sister. That's, and I think that is how you check to see if a girl's too young for you in a nightclub. <laughs> just, go, just go do the dial tone in my ear. And if she doesn't know what you're talking about, don't take her home. <laughs> do you know... Do you know do you know what Elise was telling me, which is weird, right? Okay, you. this is a little experiment for anyone listening or is watching. Is this the phone thing? 
Shut the fuck up, man. JJ, you know, that's the second time you've cut him off. Uh, yeah. Malaria, now that. that. Hold just, your lane. Listen, he's going to say country. People in Malaysia will not be happy about this, right? <laughs> He's going to talk right. about the Philippines. All right, you, you, you've lost your right to talk now. Isaac, Isaac. Yeah, yeah I'm listening. If I had to do the phone symbol, if you had to do the phone symbol, like, oh, I'm going to call you, but you're shouting it from the other side of the room and they can't hear what you say, what symbol would you do? Right, okay. Like a shaka. It's like a shaka. Yeah, yeah. So the little pinky out and the thumb up, yeah? Yep. You put it to your face. There is now a thing where if you ask... And I get confused with boomers and fucking Gen Z and millennials or whatever. But if you ask kids, I boomer. Yeah, if you ask kids <laughs> now with uh, with with phones and go, oh, do that fucking action. They'll do that. Like apparently they'll do a, a flat, flat, flat hand, flat, flat hand, because yeah, it's just yeah. a tablet. Like, and then like, another thing, or, or they're like thing. hitting their AirPod. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, and another thing, it'd be like, oh, oh, you try ringing me, and then I just. What would, and then I cut you off on the call. What would I do? What is that term called? Hang, hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Apparently soon that term because the physical be, hanging of the right. yeah, yeah. But soon that term won't be relevant anymore. Right. Because, right. Because because now the term is you ended the call, not you. Oh. Hang up. All right. I want you to. I want you to go back a hundred years. All right. Are you ready? Hundred years. We just done it. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Hundred years. I've got, oh. I've got a problem recording though. <laughs> yeah. And that was the end of us. Where are you? Where are you? Doesn't exist. Well, Doesn't exist. What? Doesn't exist. What? You had what landlines you in your home. You didn't have mobiles. Pay phones weren't existing just yet. 95% of calls were done from your own home outwards. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't like bar- borrowing people's I... phones was very rare. I thought the sentence "Where are you?" didn't exist, but obviously that did. When when would you have said it? When when you okay? You've got a guy at war. Where is he? Where are you? Where are you fighting? Bullshit. Yeah, but you're not calling him, are you? You're writing. Yeah, but it. I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just talking. You know, it still existed. Here's I'm a good verbally. One. Here's a good verbally. One. So when the when the phone was invented, they didn't have a word to answer the phone to. Okay, so here's one. Uh, used they used to want it to be a hoy. A hoy hoy. Okay, hi, hi. Hi. The word hello was invented to answer the phone to. Really? It's like mushy mushy yeah. in Japanese. I actually, actually think that's true. I've heard yeah, someone tell me well, that. Well, he's, not, he's not telling us fake facts. I mean, I hope he is. It, fake is news. Social media. Let's fact check. Let's ask Facebook. It, Let's fact check. Is it right? I'll so fact when check you, myself. When you hang up on a call, do you say, oh, all right, mate, I'll see you later or goodbye? Nah, tell me to get the fuck off my phone. Yeah, but apparently someone was saying to me, and if you're American listening, and please tell me if I'm wrong, but apparently Americans don't say goodbye. They just they end say, the call. I, I, just I always it. say ciao, ciao. I don't know why. Yeah, but apparently even, Americans travel. <laughs> will just be like, just end the call. I, um, I, last I, tell, I say people get the fuck off my phone. That is literally how I answer the say goodbye. Um, the word hello was invented in 1827. Unbelievable. So you was the phone, son? Yes. Okay. For sure. When was the phone invented? <laughs> anyway, but anyway, to- right, no, no, let's let's I, I want JJ to solve to, to have fact checked his, his way out of the fact. Because we all when believed the- him and then 1827 invented. Uh, didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> so you had us all believing and then you fact checked your way out of us believing. I fact checked myself. So what have I done here? Well, <laughs> here's the surprise. The author of the first tale. Wait a minute. So wait, wait, la- ladies and gentlemen, if what, you're Wait a minute, a lot of weird stuff has happened here. So I got, so the article is talking about people say the word hello on the phone in 1827, but Google's telling me it wasn't invented. Oh my god! Maybe maybe it's the telegram. The doop, 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 doop. Maybe we're in the matrix and we found the plot hole. Oh, got circle oh. back. Maybe, ladies and gentlemen. Also, if you are listening to this, don't believe everything we say because no, never do, never do. Never <laughs> I I will. So I go in my way to tell Yasmin wrong things. I <laughs> I just I just I, I just tell her wrong stuff so she tells other people it and she sounds like an idiot. It is fantastic. Well, I love um, just confidently saying things as if they're fact, and then like my I think most of my friends, uh, maybe not you guys as much, but people generally think. I'm a critical thinker. I'm pretty logical. So if I say something, it must be true. Yeah, you're not. You're not. No. <laughs> but but if I say it in a certain tone, people are like, oh yeah, Isaac's, Isaac, Isaac knows this. 
I never know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's, 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 it's I, I was seeing a girl in uh, Europe, TJ, if you're listening, and she coined like this Isaac fact or something. Like you can't just say it's like an Isaac fact. It's a ball sack. No, it's a ball sack fact. If it's a ball sack truth, it must be true. I would just say things and then she'd be like, no, that's wrong. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I'm like, oh, okay. And all the time. So I would confidently convince a room of this one thing. And then she'd just be like, no, you're wrong. Jesus. You are Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Take me now. All right. Um, let's let's move on to. I think we've spoken. About, I've, I've not spoken about my. You haven't spoken yet. about good things. Yeah, you give us a good thing about. No, something. We, I, did, we did a little bit, but yeah. yeah but JJ was, has my my good thing. I think my good thing just came out of show, social media recently, and this is a shameless plug. Is everyone was feeling very alone. Everyone was, and, yeah. and I got that. I had a, a lot of that from a lot of my friends. So, I I created JJ's online trivia where we all just sat about on a Saturday night. We got very drunk and I asked you questions and we play on Kahoot and, and for every, so there's rules that like every three questions, if you get three questions in a row right, you get to nominate one person to drink. If you get five, you get to nominate. It's three, seven, five and ten, everyone drinks. And we have kept doing that. We have like, there's like religiously about 20 people that play every week. We all get very drunk. And for some people, my dad's been an example, a guy called Fraser that lives over here. I know that they're sitting by themselves in their house and it really does help them. It's their heart having, the, have it Literally, like I met my friend Amy, she lives across from me and she said, JJ, like having that trivia thing on a Saturday is all I look forward to at the moment because I've got nothing else to do. Yeah. And I think that's a great way of how social media, okay, technically it's not social media because, you know, it's not comment and posting and stuff, but it's a great way that the internet has brought people together. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. Even, even on this podcast, like what you're saying is JJ online trivia gave people some kind of hope during the bleak lockdown. Even like we created this podcast during lockdown and even it became addictive where we, we were, we've worked quite hard to launch this podcast, not knowing if it's going to be received yeah. well, or people are going to take the piss out of us or give it, you know, sl slate it to shit. But it almost became addictive me going, well, it is addictive because we've talked about it before we even started this podcast. And we talked about it actually during this podcast, how many likes are we on? Yeah. How many people are listening? But that is That's because this, of... this is our baby. This yep. is something we want to do very well. This is something we care passionately about and we want to know that people are liking it. Which, by the way, if you don't like it, send in your suggestions to Isaac Gatios. At... No, no. <laughs> so the three scooters at gmail.com or our Instagram or our Facebook. Honestly, if you have a topic that you want us to talk about or if you, you want have to talk guest... to us, if you want to be on the podcast... Yeah. Do it. Come and, speak and, to us. and one thing that just popped into my head then is when bars are open on a random Tuesday night when Red Eye is quiet, we are going to do a live The oh, Three wow. Schooners show. Yeah. When we're a bit confident, a bit savvy, we'll get like Ash on there. We'll get a few guests, have a two hour affair, cheap beers. That'd be awesome. But, anyways, that's yeah, that's yeah, for, 100%. Let's that's for that, post COVID. Yeah. That'd be unbelievable. But, then, be but without social media, we wouldn't be able to see those stats and we wouldn't be able to spread the word. And, yeah. And hopefully, I, I really hope this becomes something much larger than it already is. Yeah. We'll and that see. can happen through social, through social media. media. Now, yeah, again, towards the end, the end of our podcast today, because we've got a little bit of a constraint, uh, because we're using a different way to record things and batteries are dying and things like that. But we've got a little bit of time left. So do you want to talk about our news items? Do you want to do that? Dave, you can go. Yeah. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I don't have one. Well, I, no, I, I don't I, want to bullshit one. I, I, I didn't do a news article. <laughs> JJ, because... I think you should introduce your news yeah, article yeah, yeah, yeah. and we should all listen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mine's more of a fact, so... Oh, I can be fact. Uh, the word hello was... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, fake news! The telephone was invented in 1782 when they found an alien discovered UFO. An alien, alien, alien discovered, discovered UFO. UFO. Uh, Mate, unreal. these beers, this is the 7%. <laughs> I'm finishing me off. Uh, right, boys. Yeah. We've all heard of yawn rape, haven't we? Yawn rape. Someone yawns, you put yawn your finger rape. in them. No, Jesus. I've never heard that before in my life. We had it that bit out. 
<laughs> it's just, it's, I feel like that's really discrediting actual rape. Like, you know, okay. <laughs> Same. you know, when you start, start your oh, you got raped? I got you on rape. Right, okay, all right, all right. All right. This is going to sound, <laughs> how do I say this without it sounding real sexual? <laughs> Have you ever stuck your finger in someone's mouth? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. It, it went differently they, to the way you're describing. And then they bite on it and it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't my finger. When you, when you bite. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why obviously joking. Sponsored by T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, Dave, go. <laughs> Highlights. <laughs> Hashtag the three scooters on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, that's why he's grows long hair, he's overcompensating. <laughs> right, anyway, right, Dave, when you put your finger you, in someone's you, mouth and you Yeah, and yeah, you say hello, sexy. Uh, <laughs> Fuck me. Anyway, when you, when you bite on it, when you bite on it, how much pressure, how many pounds of pressure do you think that is? When you oh, bite like, on someone's finger and they're like, that's starting to hurt. I mean, I, do I, do, I just do it. If you had to, if you had to put pounds, so it's a measurement. All right, all right. Pounds. Is this fun fact going to be seven seven thousand? The human <laughs> pound, seven thousand pounds just, of just, pressure. Just, what the shit. fuck are you doing? <laughs> just it's not make, your right and JJ. Make it make yeah. make his facts seem like what we do is by the overshoot or undershoot majorly and just make his numbers seem stupid. Like, I think it's sixty two pounds of pressure. I'm gonna put not that I know right, what pounds right, no, are. No, 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 no. Mate, that is not far off. It's seventy pounds of pressure. Okay. So can you, you can you convert that to real measurement? Uh, it's something in like newtons. I don't know. Newton? What was that? A pound? A pound? Kilograms, you a fucking. Pound. We're in Australia. A pound. No, but that's not how you make a it pressure. A pound is a bag of sugar, yeah? Uh, that's not how we measure pressure. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. anyway, fuck yeah. Right. So a pound is a bag of sugar. So it's 70 pounds or whatever. I don't know. It's probably wrong. Do you know what a crocodile is? So we've got our human jaw and it's 70 pounds of pressure. Do you know what? And it's per square inch, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you know what a crocodile's is? I know, I know you're, you can't answer this. 31 you're kilograms going. force. I'm not Googling I'm not. I'm not Googling it. I'm actually looking up how we measure pressure. Um, we I do know kilograms here, so. The, the, a crocodile biting down is insane, right? It's a Fuck. lot of pressure. It's, it's like 2,000 pounds or something like that. But It's actually higher. It's 3,700 pounds. That's quite a lot. Jeez. But them opening so their mouth is um, crocodile. 3,740? 3,700. Uh, fuck right. me, 1.6 ton. So when a crocodile's jaw goes down, it can be up to 5,000 pounds at same, right? So this is from lifescience.com, so you know it's true. Oh, it's got science in the name. This, this means that they can bite through a human, no problem. A human's jaw only produces 100 pounds of pressure per square inch, right? And I'm trying to find out the other fact about when it opens its mouth. Um, da, 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 da. Fun facts with JJ. And some of them are wrong and some of them are right. I don't have an answer. I can't tell you because I can't find the answer. It's less. Dave it's, has it's, really it's, great hair. <laughs> As I can tell you it's less. I know it's a stupidly small amount because a, like a, a bit of tape can keep its mouth shut. Okay, yeah, I know what you're saying now. <laughs> I feel like yeah. we went a roundabout way of doing that. But yeah, yeah. yeah it's, very, I, it's a very small amount. Yeah, they, that's why they, they say if you're going to fuck one, to hold your hands <laughs> over there. Not, <laughs> not fornicate. I mean, fuck with one. Why is that you guys? Guess, fuck guess with one. Fuck you, you fuck said with it wasn't, one. You said fuck. it wasn't his finger that he put in its mouth. We didn't see what the it was. It was a crocodile. <laughs> if you're going to fuck with one, you've got to grab its fucking... Yeah, stop going poppers. towards your penis. Like, uh, right, uh, any, any, any Anyways, JJ, it. what's I your think- fun fact of the week? <laughs> Oh man, 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 it's not a fun fact. Man, it's just about tech news because everyone knows I love tech. 
And I'll let one of these be yours, Isaac, right? But I'll say it for you, but it will be yours, okay? So could I get two things, okay? Sure. So my first thing is that Tesla, you know, company does some electric cars and nonsense yep. like that. A um, bunch of public they, patents, good on them. But a bunch of, yeah, you know, I'm quite proud of that. And um, they um, announced their Tesla Model S Plaid edition, which is like $180,000 Australian. Um, but, but when it gets released in about a year's time, it's going to be able to go 840 kilometers plus on a single charge. It's unreal. That's huge. That's a, Can I ask, are they using, they're not using Novonics batteries, are they? I, well, what is Novonics? Uh, it's an Australian company that share price. No, rocket no, in. no. Well, they have social media. No, they, so they, I believe they're in cahoots with Panasonic at the moment and they're making uh, their own ones as well. Um, but yeah, so 840 kilometers on a single charge. Not only that, it's going to go from zero to 100 Ks at 2.1 seconds. That's fucked. Good on them. 2.1. Imagine like, if we all had electric cars. Imagine. imagine. That's the dream, man. That's I've ordered, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the podcast, yeah, but I've ordered the, the, yeah, the yeah, cyber no truck. One cares. Yeah. No one cares. Um, so <laughs> I can't wait until that arrives. But, all right, fun fact uh, number two. Fun fact number two is um, a company called Ring, I believe, that are owned by Amazon. They've just, so Ring are famous for having security cameras on your door. And when you press the button, it appears on your phone and you can see who it is. It records, like, records people's faces, another bit of social media, I suppose. And like, so you can see who it is and if anyone broke in. They just announced their new camera and it's for inside your house. And what it does is it picks up if a door's been opened or a window's been opened when it shouldn't have been. The camera then flies because it's a drone flies out this little box and goes round your house to find the person. I think it's fucking unreal. Which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we are in the future, and that's all I want to say. Yeah. Go and look it up. I think it's uh, uh, the ring around home or something like that. Have they have they started doing drone delivery yet? Yes, but not everywhere. It's, it's, it's like just for like one city or two cities, right? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but it will happen soon. It will happen soon. I think that um, is going to be a fucking game changer. I will talk to you about this offline because I've got a way to make a lot of money through this. A lot Drop of money shipping. through it. Free no, 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 no. goes into business. Oh, it goes into nice. business. But yeah, that's, that's my fun fact. So you can have the ring one because that's the coolest one. As you can, you can, everyone look that one up. It's really cool and creepy at the same time. But yeah, um, I think that's us for this I think that's it. I think we're done. Dave's drank all his beers. We've I mean, talked about um, social media for a bit. They were good. Um, right, right, wait, wait, wait. Let's final final thoughts. Has anyone deleted any social media on the back of watching this? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, but I have, there are there are social media platforms which are becoming irrelevant. I, all right, has anyone? You're an elephant. <laughs> has, <laughs> has anyone changed their behaviour at all? Have they have they stopped notifications of certain types or anything like that on the back of watching it? Or I've I literally started what. Stop watching it like uh, as soon as I came on here. I've not had the chance to do anything. Yeah, fair. I've but, definitely, uh, I've definitely became more aware of okay. what I'm doing and why I'm doing. But it. have you changed your behaviour? I no. So <laughs> I did. I actually did that a year or two ago. I went through and I, I stopped every every like every. I basically only made it if it was me specific. So I made it a bit more narcissistic, you could say, but a bit more like personal central. I didn't care what other people did. I don't get notifications if anyone has a live video, if anyone posts for the first time, if anyone's online or near me yeah. and they want to wave or anything like that. I only get notifications if they've mentioned me, if they're messaging me directly, if they've tagged me in a photo or post or something like that. And of course um, you can do that at, at the three Skinners and we will have those next <laughs> notifications turned on. Of course. And of course. we will see them. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think that's, you don't want to be a slave to your phone. You want to be a slave to the little notification light and doing those little things. You don't need to give up social media. I think that's ridiculous. Uh, if you want to do it, good on you and power, power to you. But, but if it's something that's useful, like Dave, you use it for, for business and for, for growing nights. JJ, you use it for your trivia nights as well, as well as personal use. I use it because I'm fucking an extrovert and I don't have any extroverted uh, outlet. So that's, that's the closest thing I've got. But I think as long as you're in control and you're uh, making sure those things aren't taking over your life and aren't taking over your, your conscious time, then it's, it's not a problem at its essence. Here's a thought just before we go. Yep. With 
social media how it is now and how the rate of technology, how it's building and increasing. We've talked about it before, but you've got the Neuralink. Moore's Law. Yeah. How do you think social media will look in the future? Will it still be a thing? Will right. it be that integrated into our lives? We don't even notice it. We take Because we notice social media as such a thing now because we come from an age where we never had it. Right. Here's what's going to happen, right? Google, this is the way the world works. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Apple, but Apple takes a thing that everyone else has already done and makes it applicable and good. So yes. Apple is going to make their version of the Google glasses in some way. And that's going to change social media from a social platform into a visual thing that's augmented reality. And Apple is going to be the one that makes that a reality. So in however long that is, that is when social media will change. Apple will make that change. And you will see your social media in day-to-day life. I don't life. believe you're, you're right saying it'll be Apple. I firmly believe you're looking at Facebook being your first people for that. They've got a huge, huge department. Well, they do own the Oculus. Yeah, that's where you, that's where it's going to come from. Um, yeah, but you're right. That's that's going to be it, man. Like, yeah, and then be, I scan be, JJ and it tells me his age, where he studied. where he, That's going to create so much fucking division. Just so everyone knows, 29 and... Let's be honest, really didn't study at all. That's why I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> but let's have right, let's go. Here, boys. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Um, do you want to do it. the thing that you hate us doing? Yeah, oh, let's right. do it. Oh, I fucking... He loves it. He, he loves it. He loves it so much. So he much. loves it so much. He's so like, dumb. honestly, he messages me some days going, I can't wait to do that bit. That right, you do your bit, and then I'm going to do my bit. At the end, and it's going to be like a summary, and I'll, I'll tell you what we should do. So you, you I do feel, this. I feel like he's going to sabotage us here. But let's. Yeah, yeah it's good. Cool. I'm the guy that ended, so you should do it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, JJ. Yes, Dave. Have you had fun tonight? Um, I've been happy. I've been sad, slightly aroused at some points when Isaac <laughs> was talking about fingers. doing fingers. things with crocodiles. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had, I've had a good time. I think I'll post about it on social media. Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a goodbye from me. Thank you very much for listening. It is a goodbye from me, ladies and gents. And now you're going to hear from Isaac, who's probably going to say something completely obscure. No, I just hate it. Why, why can't we just go, hey, guys, we've been the Three Schooners. I'm <laughs> awesome time listening to our podcast. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and all the other social media platforms and listen to us. Give us a like, a follow, whatever you need to do. Otherwise, we will see you next time. That would have been great, Isaac, if you had told the people what the social media tag was. Can you mention all the, the things? I said the Three Schooners. No, you did not. At whatever. No you're, you're, whatever. <laughs> and, Point is... And, and it's a goodbye from me. <laughs> it's a goodbye from me. I said goodbye from me. <laughs>